show a eh? freaking right boys and girls today i'm gonna freaking get these 2.2 inch crawler tires together that i got off the old ebay boys 36 bucks us eh free shipping it's worth a try it is hey eh? why wouldn't it be i can't afford the good stuff boys just the cheap stuff hey eh? i'm a cheap son of a beaver i am beadlock rubber tires they feel pretty cheap first touch i'll tell you that right now boys they got not a bad tread on them, eh? Got a little bit of lip to them. Nothing major. Beggars can't be freaking choosers. So we'll get these out of the old bag of Ruski and we'll feel the foam and see how good the foam is. Whatever it should run without foam. Leave a comments below if you think it should run them without foam, boys. I just want to see how they feel without foam in them. They might crawl a little better with no foam in them. And you might run them foamless and try them. You can always take them apart and put the foam back in them. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff. I think I'm going to try them without the foam, boys, because that's the way I am, right? But here's the rims. They're just plastic. They feel not too bad, actually. They're pretty heavy duty each. They're not going to have much weight to them, but hey, it is what it is. It is better than what I got, which is stripped out old rims. Freaking right, I do. We don't need that either. Get out of here, eh? Let's get one of these apart with an Allen key by looks of her, and we'll, uh, we'll fit one on without foam and see how he feels. See if she feels like a tire without foam. Boys, girls, people, I don't know what size I need, but I'll just grab all of them. I'm sure one of them will work. So, let's see what size these are. Hey, right there. Got it the first shot I did. Don't try that at home, for frick's sakes. But I gotta get the old TRX foreskin back out and about, and like I said, I gotta strip rim on that, and it's just coughing right over it is. So how these work is, freak your final, Bubba. Stick them in the rim ski, maybe, somehow. Get them into the old tire. There we go. Slide this through, I think. Freaking right, I think. She got some freaking grip already, for God's sakes. Like so. Okay. Like freaking so. And I take it that, uh, boys, I've never put these together before. How do I look? Do I look like a profesh? Freaking right, I do. So that's not it, obviously. So they don't go like that. Or they do, and I just don't know what I'm freaking doing. Oh, hey. Why can't they come assembled? So much easier for me. Frick. I hate screwing with stuff like this. I just want to put them on and go, I do. I'm not the, uh, I'm not the best at uh, putting tires together. Have you seen my previous videos? Pretty dickered, actually, I am. So they don't go like that, obviously, because it won't go in. So let's go back through this way again. Maybe, maybe. Oh, something's happening. We'll go back through this way. Is that not supposed to go in there? Boys, girls, peoples. Let's just slap these on here and see what happens. Slap it on here and see what really goes on. So we'll put a screw in like this, and we'll try to freaking find the hole, Jim. And we'll give her a squeeze. Let's get a few started here. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> freaking decent. Oh yeah. Brothers from another mother's. Boys, girls, peoples. Oh, I just dropped the screw. That means I'm gonna be short one. Frick, why wouldn't I? We almost got one done, we did. This ain't taking too long at all. Can't wait to try them, boys. Tread pattern's the same no matter which way you go, so I'm not worried about that too much. Lock that in. 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 Boys. There we go. Freaking decent. Ooh. Wait. Right. See, they don't need foam. Maybe. <laughs> I think they'll crawl better without foam than I do. There's one assembled and it looks pretty uh, pretty cheap and cocked over, it does. There she is, boys. Check it out. It's not too bad, though. I think it's better without foam for sure because now the tire's gonna bend and it's gonna grab and it'll crawl everywhere. And it seems to come back out by itself. Freaking right, it does. It should fill them holes so it doesn't get water in it. What do you think? Leave the comments below. It should fill that hole right there. What do you think about filling the old hole? Let me know what you think. I think. It's a good idea, because then they don't get full of water. Find the hole, which is right there. We'll just put some black tape on it. Slap a little some black old tape -o. on our boys. Not a lot, just a little. Oh, this one's got a hole in it too. Let's slap some tape on that one too. You will do a double slapper. So now I'll pull the foam out of this one. Try to pull the foam out so you don't rip it in case you need it, because I just don't know what I'm doing. So I may just cock them right over. Who knows, eh? Who freaking really knows? I don't. Can't you tell? 
and we'll throw some screws in it, and then we'll feel what she feels like with the holes plugged up. I'm thinking water, no, no goody, hey? Water, no goody. How the hell wouldn't I? Not, not a big fan of the red, boys. But hey, it is what it is, it is. But for 36 bucks US for tires, sure beats a hundred and friggin' eighty dollar Canadian. Hey, Dennis? I'll give her a shot, bud. I'll probably still buy them from you, but you know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta go cheap, you do. Can't always go expensive. There you go. Let's try one with and one without. And then we'll put the other two together and see what they do. I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna tell me to screw right off is what they're gonna do. Friggin' right. I'm gonna tape the holes. Just so you know. Nothing like a good hole tape. Tape the holes and run no foam. That's the way she is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Remember when you're rock crawling with RCs, you don't want hard tires, you want them to grab stuff. So that's the only reason why I'm trying it without foam. Because I think it'll work better. And where the hell's my daughter? She's gone for a bike ride and she's still gone. What's really going on? Took right off she did. There well, easy. There well. Well, how the hell are you supposed to keep that? See, the bead locks are supposed to go in between the rim, but good friggin' luck. There well. It's the only way you hold your tongue, boys. Nothing like a good beadage lock. Mel! What are you doing? She just took a wipeout and I happened to drive by, so I got her bike for her. Oh! She said her arm really, really hurts. Where'd you wipe out? You know what? That just makes you stronger. I used to wipe out on my bike all the time. Okay, boys and girls, peoples. I'm taking it apart again. Because they did it wrong. Of course they did it. I'm Bilsif. I always do things three times, boys. Three, four times, maybe six. Hey, why wouldn't I? But uh, I'll show you what I did wrong. I just kind of slapped this ring on, started tightening her down, I did, and guess what? Hell no on that old, hey? Real RC people out there that know a lot more than I do, you're probably just saying, you just cocked it right over, you did. But hey, boys, it all takes practice, it does. So what I've done wrong is, before you put this ring on, you gotta tuck the tire into the beadlock, boys. You not just crush it and hopefully it, it friggin' works. Tuck her in, Jim. Tuck her in, like that. Make sure the tire's in the rim. Gotta wiggle, wiggle, eh? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There you go. See, so make sure it's nice and flush and in between the rim, and then put the ring on. What's really going on? I'm fired. We'll have to take you out after and show you and see how these work, we will. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you like this video of me just cocking right over with the old rock crawler tires, boys. The cheap. Low budget, bill some deals. We're almost done, we are. So anyway, I want to come back and show you that, and uh, I'll carry on. And they seal up a little better too when you get them in right. There we go, there's three, eh? And actually that one's holding some good air pressure. Friggin' right it is. That one, not so much. That tire's a little cocked over, I think. What's really going on with that tire? For freak's sakes. Here, let's fill her back up, boys. Let's fill her up, Jim. Maybe, hey, maybe. The fucking air blower was just right in front of me for fuck's sakes. Now it's fucking gone. How is that even possible? What in the f? Careful. Music. We gotta find a spot to fill it. Here's my three times taking it apart. Oh, oh there you go. The T-Rex Four is sitting on the old thirty-six dollars U.S. friggin' rock crawler tires. So I'll have to friggin' try that and see how it works. I don't think they're a true two point two though, because that's a two point two. And look at the height difference on that, boys. I don't know if you can see that or not. Even with a little bit of a crush, they're still a little lower they are. So I don't think they're a true 2.2, but pretty close. I'm curious to see how they work, I am. Why wouldn't I be, eh? So we'll get that out shortly and we'll see how it friggin' works. Why wouldn't we? But hopefully you, uh, you're you having a good day like I am and playing with the old RZ stuff. Don't forget to check out a couple of my brother channels there. Check out old Kevin Talbot, eh? Friggin' right, you better. And check out Pat's too. They're always doing RC stuff, and it's freaking decent. But anyways, hopefully you're having a good day like I am, not doing anything I didn't do, and uh, you know what to do for now.